Good morning. It's Saturday the 6th of August 2022 and I've returned to the beautiful village of Castleton. Now, I come to Castleton a lot. Um, it's a beautiful place and I think it, it's one of the biggest hotspots in the Peak District. Probably the biggest hotspot. But, you know, you can see why it's popular. It's just beautiful. Um, so yeah, I've come here early and I'll explain why in a minute. And along here, I think this must be one of the most photographed scenes in Castleton. The Devil's Arse. <laughs> what a great name for the cavern. <laughs> well, I know it's called Peak Cavern, but... I just love the fact that it's referred to as the Devil's Arse. <laughs> Castleton is well known for its varied and spectacular caverns, a couple in which the impressive Blue John Stone can be found. And there are several shops in the village selling this beautifully crafted jewellery. Passing one such store, I made my way to the marketplace. I normally start my filming days early anyway, but today I've come to Castleton early because I want to get some shots around the village before it gets busy, but also I'm going to be meeting some friends at 10 o'clock. I'm actually doing another of Lou and Lowell's group walks. If you've been following my walks recently, you'll remember that I gave Lou and Lowell a shout out um, because I've joined them on several of their group walks this year and they're doing another one today. So. Yeah, I did actually make a film here in Castleton back in 2014. Uh, and I will be visiting some of the same places that I did back then. However, today's film will be very different because it's going to be a bit of an experiment, really. I'm going to be filming on the go more because I'm not going to be able to stop so much to take shots. So it's going to be a, an interesting experiment. I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see how it goes. I always love coming to Castleton. It's one of those places because it's such a popular hotspot. I always know that it's going to be absolutely rampacked with people. But it wouldn't be Castleton if it wasn't busy with people. <laughs> I accept that. But it is nice to walk around here now before it gets too busy. And whilst I remember, the film that I made back in 2014, that's film number 20 if you've not seen it. <laughs> Having walked right round the village and heading back towards the marketplace, I decided to visit the very pretty church of St Edmund, which dates back to the 13th century. Just thought I'd make time to have a quick walk around the church whilst I'm here. Yeah, I've not been inside this church before. When I was outside, there was a lady sort of I think she was attending one of the gravestones, but uh, clearly a local. And she said, oh, you can take photographs inside the church if you like, she said. I said, thank you, I will. <laughs> Beyond the marketplace, I walked up to a bridleway between cottages, signposted to Cavedale. So I'm at the start of Cavedale now, and this is where I'm going to be starting the walk with Lou and Lowell's group today. It's 20 to 10 now, so I've got 20 minutes before the group walk meets up and starts. Uh, so yeah, it's been really nice actually walking around Castleton and getting some shots 
before the walk starts, so it's been great. Anyway, I'm going to have a quick drink now, and then I'm going to go down to the car park where I'm meeting the group, and then I'm going to enjoy doing the walk with Lou and Lowell today. Really looking forward to it. So, at 10 o'clock, I met the others, and we began our walk. I don't think I've actually been through Cavedale since I was here in 2014 when I made that film. But uh, I've actually forgotten how steep and rocky this bit is. <laughs> I think this is probably going to be the toughest part of the walk anyway, he says. But yeah, the good thing about this walk is when we get a bit higher up and look back, the views are going to be amazing. As we looked back, we could see the ruins of Peveril Castle, perched high up above the narrow gorge. Ah, so the grading to this climb is easing a bit now. It's been quite tough. I mean, it's quite a steep path coming up through Cavedale, but it's also rocky as well, which sort of adds to the difficulty, really. But to say, it's worth it for this beautiful walk. Beyond the head of Cavedale, we mounted a stone step stile to reach a broad track. Turning right along it, we went right again after about half a mile to mount another stone stile. Now that we're gaining height even more, the views just get more and more spectacular. Look at that. I just love the bleakness of this part of the Peak District. Wow. <laughs> As we headed north, we could soon see Mam Tor and the Great Ridge ahead of us. So we've just crossed over the road now. Down there is Winnett's Pass, down that lane there. You can't see it, hidden from here. And of course, if you go through Winnett's Pass, that takes you back to Castleton. But we're heading on here. We're heading for the Great Mam Tor. Crossing a road again to go through a small gate opposite, our path rose ahead up the grassy hill, culminating in steps onto the Edale Road, where we took a quick breather. Veering away from the road again, we climbed the stepped path, slowly leading to the summit of Mam Tor. up here, which isn't unexpected, more fantastic views, right there on the skyline in the background is the Great Kinder Scout, and down there we just make out Edale, where I was on my last walk, hopefully you can hear me, 
Time for some grub. Admiring the views, we could see down to the remains of the old A625, which closed in 1979 due to a landslide. After our lunch, we began our exhilarating walk along the Great Ridge. I think it's about time we met our lovely hosts. It's Lou and Lol. Hey, Hope. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? How are you? Yeah. So, Lou and Lol, you've organised quite a few of these group walks, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did the, the walk that we're doing today. We did this one last year and it was actually one of the first group walks that we did. Yeah. So we thought that it would be nice to revisit it and give people the chance that couldn't come with us last year or, you know, new members of the group. Yeah. A chance to join us. So yeah, it's so far it's been a really good day. Yeah. Um, I've forgotten how tough the um, the climb was up to Mam Tour though. <laughs> so oh, it was yeah. easy. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I think quite a few people took a breather there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the Great Ridge. I think you just get fantastic views yeah. overlooking, you know, all of the Peak District. Well, this side of the Peak District, anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it, I think it's a good walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good walk. Yeah, it's beautiful. It certainly is. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about your YouTube channel. You've had a YouTube channel now for a little while, haven't you? So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've had the, the channel's been going for what about about three, over three, over four years now i think um it started off with just myself loose travels uh but then we sort of me and lauren thought well we'll go to the same places so why don't we just yeah, do a joint channel as well hence lou and Lost travels yeah, yeah yeah um the channel's a bit of a mixed bag um you've got peak district walks you've got derbyshire dale walks yeah. and you've also got cities. cities and a few towns so um yeah. yeah some seaside places so but i think that's what we're trying to do you know we're um it's, I think our channel is quite um, flexible, isn't it, where we go? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, but we are <laughs> planning on doing a lot more with the channel as well in the future. We've not released any videos um, at the minute because we've just been so busy. Yeah, um, yeah. But we are going to be back on it soon. So. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, well, we look forward to seeing more of your videos as always. And what is it you all say at the end of your videos? Keep walking! Yeah. <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> Check their channel out Thank immediately. <laughs> but that would have made it easy to get in now, it's yeah. just that one way from there, isn't it? <laughs> so, this is Holland's Cross, the lowest point of this ridge. Okay, onward. I'm struggling behind them now, they're all way ahead of me. <laughs> Heading on from another junction of paths, we came to possibly the most challenging section of the ridge path as we approached back tall. Although there were steps, the climb was very steep and rocky, but thankfully it wasn't a long one. As always, however, we were rewarded with the spectacular views. After a while, the path along the ridge ended as we reached Loose Hill. Summit of Loose Hill. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> we survived it. Yeah, we survived it. <laughs> Well, I must say this is proving to be a really lovely walk. I say it's been really nice doing with it with a great company of friends as well. So, yeah, just descending from Loose Hill now and making our way back to Castleston, just down there. Descending from the Great Ridge, our way took us through several fields before eventually meeting a lane, leading us back into Castleton. We finished our walk now, and some of us had a drink here in the castle pub behind, set out in the beer garden at the back. It's really nice. So, anyway. Lou and Lowell and all the others, they're starting to make their way home now. But I've decided to stay on for a bit. There's still a little bit more filming around the village that I'd like to do. There's one place in particular I'd like to see now. I climbed up to Peveril Castle, founded in the 11th century by William Peveril, an illegitimate son of William the Conqueror. The castle occupies practically an invincible position, with steep cliffs on three sides. It was definitely worth the short climb up to Peveril Castle. There's not much of it left, but it's still worth a visit, and you get some fantastic views from here as well. And over there, you can see Cavedale. That's where we started our walk this morning. Absolutely fantastic. Yep, that's definitely one of the classic Peak District walks. The castle's most impressive feature is the Great Keep, built by Henry II in 1176, after it had been forfeited to the Crown. Look at all the nooks and crannies. Fan bleeding tastic. <laughs> what an absolutely fantastic day it's been today. A brilliant walk, brilliant company, and it's just been nice to end the day. Just coming up here to Peveril Castle to say there's not much of it left, but it's worth coming to see anyway, and just get some great views from here as well. So, yeah, perfect day again. Well, I'm going to walk down to my car now and begin my journey home. Although, I'm just going to stop off at one more place nearby before I actually do make the journey home. Leaving Castleton, I drove about two miles west to park in a rough lay-by close to the foot of Mam Tor again. Going through a gate, I was oblivious to the fact that I hadn't closed up my rucksack. Luckily, nothing fell out. Anyway, I went through another gate to take a look at the views over the spectacular Winnett's Pass. 
This steep and narrow road between towering limestone cliffs has been the main through route for light traffic since the closure of the old A625 in 1979. Well, I just thought I'd end my day here, looking down into Winners Pass. How amazing is that? It's quite windy up here. Oh, just absolutely fantastic. It's just been a, a real treat today. Just a perfect day. <laughs> oh well, that's it now. And I just want to say a big thank you to Lou and Lowell for organising today's walk and I look forward to joining you on the next one.